Scorpio. Uh, we will now be exploring uh, when and if you can get this connection back to what it once was. How will it happen and when? So we'll see what comes up around uh, you, Scorpio, uh, between yourself and this person and, of course, this connection. So let's have a look and see what comes up. Okay, so you have the time of cancer that has come up. Now, for me, the Empress does represent... Um, Taurus or Venus, okay, because she's a very Venus energy. Uh, keep in mind, three out of the five cards are air cards, so it could indicate the time of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That could be significant for some of you Scorpios watching, okay, straight off the bat here. Um, I do feel there is still an attraction that is going to be evidence between the two of you. But in terms of an emotional connection, this is coming up as reversed. Um, the chariot card indicates emotional progression with each other. So I see for a lot of you, you may still be in communication with each other, but the element of loneliness and attraction is coming up, which makes me think that there is, uh, this could be a potential ending for a lot of you Scorpios watching, okay? For some of you, you can reunite. There will be communication. But it's either you feel lonely, you'll feel like something is missing, or you'll feel like it's the connection is expired already. A part of you will feel like you're ready to end it. The attraction might still be there, okay? So you may come back for a physical encounter, um, sleeping together. You know, we see this figure in bed, we see this figure laying down. So it could be a more physical rather than emotional connection that does come back into your path. Now, that's not to say that's going to happen for all of you. Um, for some of you, the King of Swords is, is an intellectual bond that's going to bring the two of you back together. Um, but the Chariot card, just because it's reversed, uh, it could indicate that things happen very, very slowly. Okay, there's um, the notion of time and patience coming up with the Four of Swords. So I think for a lot of you, um, this connection is going to be very slow, or it's reversed. Now, if the emotions are reversed, someone's not feeling the same way as they once did. So straight away, a connection I think is likely, but I think what I'm seeing here is that um, the bond is not going to be the same. The emotional bond is not going to be the same. I mean, the Empress can represent abundance, um, absolutely, um, beauty, attraction, sexuality, even pregnancy. So that could be what brings the two of you back together. You know, uh, for some of you, it's a planned or unplanned pregnancy um, that may bring the two of you back together. Um, but I feel with the Empress, while she does represent things like love, um, I'm seeing that deep bond or the deep love that you're wanting is not going to be there. And it may be the cause of anxiety or concern or feeling loneliness. I mean, the King of Swords, I do feel like they'll initiate conversation. I do feel like they'll reach out and it might be online. They may do that first and sort of test the waters before you actually physically meet. If you do physically meet, it might be like a very like lustful encounter, you've missed each other, you want to be in each other's arms, you want to feel and touch each other. So, I mean, that's one aspect. But I feel like with the Nine of Swords, this is emptiness. You'll talk about it, though. I like the King of Swords is here because I feel like it's something that you may both feel on some level and you'll be able to talk about it and not just like dismiss or disregard this person. You'll be able to say, you know, I feel like something's missing or I feel... I'm lacking the emotional connection. It's just not what it once was because I do see one of you laying it to rest, laying the connection to rest. Um, you know, we have the concept of death here. This is endings, laying something to rest and moving on to the next, the next stage, the next phase. The chariot can be the past or past attachments. I think maybe some of you have grown emotionally connected to this person and I think you're hopeful of something, you know, you 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 might be praying or wishing for this person to come back. You might even be dreaming about them or having even sleepless or restless nights about them. Um because they're still dominating a lot of your thoughts and I think I mean, I wanted to center this reading more on this person and from what I'm seeing, I think it's them, okay? They're still thinking about you. They still wonder what you're up to. Um, but it's, it's, it's being left in the dark here with the Nine of Swords. 
And I think this is really getting to them, um, especially if you've been the one that sort of caught, you've been the cause for their pain, Scorpio. Um, but like I said, I feel like the King of Swords confesses things. He's quite outright. He's open. He's honest about what he feels and what he thinks. So I applaud your ability as well as this person's when you do reconnect their ability to be honest. Um, and they will be honest, I feel. Um, because I, I still feel like a part of them wants to fight for this connection. But one of you, I think, is going to let it go. I mean, it could be an, a decision you both make because the black and white sphinxes sit as equals. Um, it's it's But it's almost like the chariot card upright is greatness and um, progress and conquest. Um, I almost want to say it's an outcome you don't ideally want. Neither does this person, but you may know it's best for you. And the hardest part about this is that you it's a hard goodbye, like it's the hardest goodbye. And in a way you feel you could have done more, they could have done more, but in, in the, at, at the same time, you feel like you had to do this for the both of you. For some reason, it's almost like you both make the rash or wise decision. It's not necessarily the, the outcome you've wanted, but you do it anyway and you sort of swallow your pride and do it anyway. And I think they will too. Maybe not for all of you, um, Scorpios watching, but for some that could definitely be the case. Um, and if you do continue with this connection, it may take time to get there emotionally. Maybe once where you once were, maybe you've fallen out of love, maybe it's put you off, maybe emotionally you don't feel like there's a connection anymore. Uh, it, that's going to take time. But I feel like whatever you'll do, you'll sort of do it together. I mean, the birds are flying here together. So at least in terms of communication and attitude, you'll both maintain the same attitude Except what I've mentioned earlier is that one of you may want to lay it to rest, may want to end it and terminate this connection for good. Okay, this is the, the, the notion of the two meth effigy. This is laying some something to rest here, no longer being able to revive. We cannot revive what has passed. We cannot get back the moments that have left us. Um, we can't revisit the, mem the memories in the flesh. And, you know, it's bittersweet even talking about it. I don't think that's the case for all of you, but for some, you will experience it. So consider this sort of like preparing you for it, for that, um, or it's just a lustful attraction. There'll always be something for each other, but you won't be able to build emotionally. There's a block. Uh, there's a block for one reason or another. You may even talk about endings a lot. I don't know if that's coming up. Like you may talk about terminating the relationship, that you're no good for each other. Um, you may sort of mention this to each other and you'll continue to do that. And I think eventually it's just going to eat away at what you have and how you feel and vice versa. It's going to do the same for this person. Um, and I think that's where you could conclude this connection. But like I said, for those of you where this person does resurface, there's a period of activity and then there's inactivity. So it's like they at times they'll come on really strong and be really in your face and want to see you and want to do X, Y, and Z. And then another times it's just, it's quiet. You're not getting much. So it could be like um a bit of like back and forth. Okay. If this connection was to come back. Um, I'll leave it at that though, Scorpio. So please remember it is a general reading. Um, obviously each situation is different. But I do hope it's giving you some sort of insight into what could happen or what you could expect uh, in this connection. Um, for private readings, you know where to find me. 